Rockets Twitter is absolutely going nuts over Stephen Seelis. Should he still be the head coach of the Houston Rockets? Yes, I asked that question. Cue the intro. Everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of the league. Your host is always Harley Dugan. The Houston Rockets, yes, uh, they've struggled immensely, and this is granted they have young talent, they got a bunch of guys that are extremely talented, gobs of potential. And do they have the right guy leading that ship? This is not a question for me, this is a question for Rockets Twitter because they are the ones that want to bring up this question consistently every single time there's a problem that they see and want to blame the head coach. Look, last night was a little bit troublesome for me. When you go into Detroit and you look really good that first half, really, really well, and then the fourth quarter is what bugs me for Steven Seelis is not starting your guys, your top three guys that – you know are going to be your top three guys on this team, and you don't play them. You casually take too long to take a timeout. That is what bugs me. But 11 games into the season, are we actually calling for this guy's head? No, we should not be doing that. He hasn't even finished his second season. His first season was filled with catastrophe from the very get-go. No Harden, no Westbrook, circus active guys. Nobody wanted to play. Just bringing in different guys coming into the roster. Bunch of young guys. You don't know what you got. You trade for Kevin Porter Jr. You trade away James Harden. You trade away Russell Westbrook. You got K.J. Martin coming in. Armani Brooks coming in. Jay Sean Tate coming in. All of that being said. 11 games into the season, firing a head coach is absolutely unfair, and it's ridiculous. Yes, does he deserve some criticism? Understandably so. A lot. I get it. I get why fans are upset. But at the end of the day, it's only 11 games into the season. Let him get it going. The roster, like he said in his postgame interview, hasn't been really set for him. Tons of injuries, guys coming in, out of the lineup. He's got to fix it according to that. He goes with the hot hand in certain situations. I am a really big proponent of Steven Seelis. I love him. I really do. I like him a lot. I think he could be a very good head coach for the future of the Houston Rockets. But at this time, look, Yes, there's problems. Yes, there's some flaws. I do believe he can correct it. And at the end of the day, this is still a growing team. You got a young amount of players. He's still got a young head coach, too. He's never coached in the league before, okay? Give him time. Give the team some patience. I've said this to ad nauseum. Game 10, game 11 of the Houston Rockets will not look the same as game 60 and game 61 of the Houston Rockets. Give this man a complete roster. Let it be set. Let it be free of injury. And let's see what Steven Silas can do. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to turn on. Drop your comments, your reactions down below. I want to hear it. There's a bunch of people clamoring for Steven Silas to be fired. I want to know if you want him fired, drop the name of the head coach you want down below. I need to hear it. I better not see no goddamn Mark Jacksons. I better not see no goddamn Jeff Van Gundy's. I don't want no retreads. Give me someone new. Give me someone that I can go, "Mm, okay, let me think about it. I'm not firing Silas, but if you give me a good name down below, I might highlight it. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. Y'all have a blessed day.